Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. On my channel, I've posted a lot of airport fashion videos, always reviewing and rating other people's looks. And I think it's about time I recreated a few of my favorites on myself. So what we're gonna do is recreate six of my favorite airport outfits on myself. And this will be a combination of pieces that I've bought from my own wardrobe. So it's gonna be a real mix. I'll link everything in the description box. All of these pieces are menswear. But what I'm gonna do in between each look is include a flat lay of a way to recreate this in women's wear. This is Editing George jumping in. Hi. <laughs> so change of plan on the flat lays. I've still done them, but I'm not gonna include them in this video. What I'm gonna do is upload them to my Like to Know It page. And if you're unfamiliar with Like to Know It, it's basically a shoppable version of Instagram. So the flat lays for all six outfits will be over my Like to Know It page. I'll leave that linked in the description box so you can follow that page if you'd like. I'm also thinking of updating my Like to Know It maybe once every week, once every two weeks. So that is a constant flow of content showing you how you can recreate your favorite idols outfits. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this and I'll give it to you. <laughs> if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss a future upload. YouTube have also just introduced a brand new feature called Super Thanks. This is a way for you to tip and say thank you to your favorite creators for all of the content that they put out. So if you would like to make a donation to my channel, it will be hugely hugely appreciated let's get stuck into the first look so our first outfit we're recreating that classic sexy jungkook airport outfit where he's got the black trench the stompy boots the baseball cap honestly one of my favorite jungkook outfits so for this i've bought some pieces and i've combined them with my own wardrobe i've got this oversized gray jersey sweatshirt on from Collusion. I think it was 12 pounds and I'm actually quite impressed with the quality of the jersey for the price. Collusion's quality is usually a bit like, not the best. And then on my legs, I've got these Zara nylon combat cargo style trousers, elasticated waist, quite loud, like, gonna start a fire. <laughs> but I really like the fit of these. They're a nice tapered cut, they look nice on the AS and I've tucked them into these ASOS boots, kind of a Prada monolith ripoff, but these are 50 pounds, great quality, and overall I'm impressed. Let me go grab the pieces to finish off this look. So I've got my baseball cap on, I've got this beautiful oversized trench coat, the backpack, just a little Adidas number. I love this trench, it's perfectly oversized giving us that Jungkook vibe. I mean, I wouldn't wear the baseball cap, but if I'm going through an airport, I'm in a rush, incognito mode, as I always talk about, then it's perfect. I've just done my hair, so wearing this baseball hat, not ideal. <laughs> I have still got the label on this coat. I cannot get it off. This oversized trench is from Yes Style. It is a really nice quality, and I think the fit of it is really nice. I personally really like the look of it when it's belted up, because it really snatches you in. And then you've got the really nice oversized storm flap at the back. I am a Yes Style partner, so I do have Yes Style discount. I'll put it on the screen and also leave that in the description box for you guys if you ever want to use it. Let's move on to our next look. I think I have nailed this one. Moving on to Jenny, we've got her famous red Chanel jumper airport moment. I hear you ask, George, is that jumper Chanel? No, bitch, it's H&M. <laughs> I think this is a pretty good dupe for what she was wearing. Me don't have the money for Chanel. I couldn't find any red pieces of knitwear that had some kind of design on the chest. Most of them are plain and most red pieces of knitwear are a more burgundy, deep wine shade than this like true like blue toned red. So it's quite hard to find. This is actually a piece of women's wear. It is a crop jumper. And when I tell you it is literally like on the verge, like I've had to pull these trousers up extra high to get this tucked in. That's why you can't see any like volume around the waist. <laughs> I've probably got ankle swingers, but you know, we've got to make it work. 
And then I've picked up these black and white sneakers from ASOS with the chunky sole. They're a really nice shape. If you're a guy watching this video, do I think this piece of knitwear is a nice silhouette on a guy? No, to be honest, there's a lot of volume around the sleeve. I think it's just where I'm tall and this is crop piece of knitwear is like fucking with the silhouette a bit. I also picked up this little black quilted bag, you know, to emulate Jenny's Chanel moment. I don't have a Chanel bag. I don't have the money for a Chanel bag and I'm not buying a Chanel bag for a video. You crazy. But this is from a brand called Ego or it might be Eco. It will be confirmed in the links in the description box. But I think this is quite cute. I think it could be worn by anyone really. It's just like a quilted black crossbody bag. I think works well with this look. It's very cute. I think it works well with the handle, the little Jenny pose. <laughs> it's Jenny, bitch. <laughs> also, the trousers are just a pair of trousers from my own wardrobe. This is a pair of trousers from Cos, an organic cotton wide pair of trousers. And what I like about these is they really snatch in at the waist, but they've got a nice shape like over the bum and down the leg. On to the next look. If you watch my TXT engine airport fashion video, you'll know I was obsessed with this look. The energy he was giving, the strut, the picture, everything. And now it is my turn to have my very own Yinjin moment. I've got the base outfit on. I've got this cotton black roll neck. It's nice and thin. I don't know about you, but in winter when I wear knitwear, I'm always like, oh fucking boiling and then these are supposed to be a slim cut but there is nothing slim about these jeans I literally feel like I'm being cut in half like oh my god either my legs are too big or selected home are deceiving me by telling me that these are a slim cut like are we sure? Are we sure? <laughs> this is the base but it's these next pieces that are gonna still the show. <laughs> so I've got these boots and honestly I could not, I've never worn a pair of boots like this in my life. I like something a bit clunky, a bit chunky because I'm tall, I'm slim. These kind of boots make my feet look like the feet out of fairly odd pants. <laughs> My feet, oh my God, I can't even stand in them. Oh my God. My feet literally look like boats. I'm actually dead. <laughs> this is too funny. Oh my God, no. Oh my God, I hate them. <laughs> look at my foot. I'm a UK size nine. I literally look like I have canoes. Let's finish this look off. I got this leather trench from ASOS. I'm actually really impressed. It came like packaged really nicely. It had polystyrene wrapped around all of the buttons. And this was 150 pounds. Yes, bitch. Yes, bitch. Okay, let me get the bag one moment. Nah, I'm sorry. I fucking nailed this one. This coat, the fit of this coat is perfect. My only qualm is the way that it's been packaged. It's really crinkly and wrinkly. I said it was packaged nicely. Yes, it was, but it was just folded up in a bag. A coat like this needs to be hung. I can't steam or iron crinkles and wrinkles out of leather. It's just going to have to drop over time. Like, can you see what I mean? It's very wrinkly here. But I have fucking nailed this outfit. Like, Yunjun, we're twinning, I'm vibing. I literally feel like a different person in this outfit. I mean, I was literally just in my dressing gown before this. Let me put my glasses on, that will complete the look. Hold my bag. Okay, I can't see shit because I've got contacts and glasses on. The things I do for YouTube. This is a look, this is a vibe. What do you guys think? I do like this color jean with it. The only thing I would change is the boot. I would have like a chunky boot on, but that's just personal preference. But this is a killer look. I just want to show you the boots from like my angle looking down. 
I'm still not over it. Like, honestly. <laughs> Moving on to Jin, if you watch Jin's episode of BTS Airport Fashion, you'll remember this look. I love this. It was classic. It was contemporary. The oversized striped shirt with that slim cut trouser. He was wearing a mixture of AMI Paris and Tom Brown. That Tom Brown tote bag. Jin a bougie bitch. I am wearing this shirt from ASOS. The quality of the fabric isn't my favorite. It is a bit crunchy. It's by New Look on ASOS, but it is that really nice oversized fit. It's not exactly the same stripe, but we've still got that blue tone going on. And then the trousers are just that slim cut pair of trousers from my wardrobe. And then I've got the chunky black and white sneakers on also from ASOS. Let's finish it off with a bag. This is a little black Nike toe. I think it's really cute. It's got the little Nike pouch on it. It's got the chain detail, the Nike logo in the chain. I think it's just a really nice way to finish off this outfit. The black baseball cap, as I said, is very contemporary menswear, but it's using those classic pieces of menswear to create it. Very oversized, as you can see. Potentially the shirt is a bit too big, but I mean, it's the vibe we're going for. I wish my shirt sleeves were a bit longer like Jin's, but we move, <laughs> we move. <laughs> Moving on to our next look, we've got Exo Sehun. I loved this airport outfit, the Fendi trench coat, that slim cut trouser. And then we can see he's got that layered roll neck and shirt underneath. So for my base layer, I've got this really nice shirt from Yes Style. I think the wrap detail, the way it crosses over and the asymmetric collar is just really interesting. It's really unique. The fabric is really nice. This is my first time ordering from Yes Style. I've heard a mixed bag of things and I had no expectations, if I'm honest. I didn't know what to expect and I'm pleasantly surprised. Both of the pieces I got are excellent quality. This is actually better quality fabric than a shirt I ordered from ASOS for this video. So my plan is to use this wrap style collar to emulate his layering underneath the trench coat. And then these are just a pair of slim cut black trousers from my wardrobe. They are a bit too big on the waist for me. And then I've got the same black and white chunky sneakers from the previous look. I've kept these on because these are more similar to the type of shoe that Sehun is wearing, whereas my white sneakers are more chunky and they looked weird with the slim trouser. Let me get the trench on and finish the look. So this is my trench coat from Cos. It is really nice quality. I think this was 150 pounds. It's in this really nice coated fabric. It's a butte color, it's lined. I wore this so much in spring. Let's wrap it over like Sihan. I think this looks really cute done up. The collar shape works really nicely with the trench, the way it wraps. And then the snatched in bow is giving us that same silhouette as Sehun, the storm flap, and then snatched in coming down. I think this is a really beautiful classic menswear outfit, a trench, shirt, trousers, but the cut of the trench coat being slightly oversized. This wrap detail on the collar is making it super contemporary, but yeah, it's still classic. As I've mentioned, I am a Yes Style partner, so I do have a discount code for Yes Style. It will be in the description box, the code, the link, everything you need to know. And this code doesn't expire. You can use it at any time you want. Obviously, I needed to include a minnow look in this video. I was obsessed slash still am obsessed with his airport style. The black suit, topless underneath, Oh, such like a bad boy moment. I was gonna do that, but you know, I'm not ready to get that much skin out on YouTube. Um, so I went for the gray moment. This is a suit I actually have in my wardrobe. This is a suit I've had for quite a few years, actually. It is a Zara number. It's when they bring out their more like editorial, like fall, winter, spring, summer collection. That's where it's from. I wore this in that video and this almost matches his suit perfectly, except for mine is a more of a wide leg 
right down to the shoe kind of cut on the trouser whereas his is more cropped which gives it more of like a sporty vibe i think his jacket is also a bit shorter in length because his bag is worn a bit more like on the hips but you can see when i do that it makes the proportion look a bit off on this one so if i pull this up to where my actual waist is you can see it just makes the silhouette look a lot better. Obviously I have to finish it off with some sunglasses. Minna looks fucking sick with the Jacquemus bum bag. This is just one off of ASOS. I think I have also nailed this one. I think I've just done a great job this video to be honest. <laughs> Gonna toot my own horn, but what do you guys think? I really like this. I like the fact that you've got the bag and it's snatching you in at the waist. It's helping to enhance the shape. We know I love a belted jacket. So this really does it for me. I think when you look down and you see the bag on your waist, it's kind of strange because you're like, fuck, like it's a lot of volume there that you're like not used to, but like looking in the teeny tiny viewfinder and when I edit this, it probably does look very nice. Flat on. <laughs> On an unrelated note, I guess kind of unrelated, we're talking about K-pop and I have a K-beauty item here that I picked up from Yes Style. This is the Benton Snail Bee Ultimate Eye Cream. Snail Bee, I'm like, that's not a thing. Basically, it's an eye cream that's got snail secretion, bee venom and peptides in it. It's really moisturizing and it's really good for smoothing the skin around your eyes. I've been using it for a few weeks and I'm really, really enjoying it. Unrelated, but I did used to speak about skincare and it popped up on my S-Star and I was like, why not? So if you're in the business for an eye cream, definitely check that one out. Guys, I honestly had the best fucking time filming this video. I'm sure you can see it on camera. I'm like messing around, I'm having a laugh. This was so much fun to film. And it is also so nice to try styles that are out of my comfort zone, out of my normal style. Like Yun Jun's look with the slim cut jeans, the Cuban heel boots, totally not my vibe, but I love that outfit and I felt fucking great in that outfit. <laughs> Please let me know in the comments what was your favorite look from today's video. Don't forget, I've linked everything in the description box, men's and women's, and all of the guest style information will be there as well. What you should do next is go check out my Lisa, La Lisa stage outfit review. I'll leave a link in the top screen here as well as in the description box. But thank you so much for watching and a massive, massive thank you to everyone who subscribed. Our numbers have almost doubled in a few months. It is wild. So thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.